so many bad segues I could do. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah. Our little buddy was a little lost today in downtown Pittsburgh, but uh, you know, there's uh, nothing to complain about when it's sunny out and you can walk around downtown. I know whether you're wearing shorts or you're a turkey downtown today was the perfect day to get out and the only complaint is the wind yeah. outside today and that's going to be dying down as we go through the night. So the winds are going to ease up. We're going to keep the temperatures at this spring like level or warmer as we go into the next couple days for highs. So 56 is where we currently find our temperature in Pittsburgh 53 and Butler North, those temperatures fall off just a little bit. You can see Dubois and Clarion at 50, even 49 degrees up in Franklin. And it's a meteorological smidgen warmer down to the south as you get into Morgantown. Temperatures there, 60 degrees. And on top of that, it's on the gusty side. These are wind gusts in the last hour. 28 miles per hour has been reported at the airport, 23 in Latrobe, 31 mile per hour gusts in Altoona, and even a 39 mile per hour gust in State College. So it's gusty outside, and this camera's been shaking. You can see the waves trying to push up the Allegheny and even some white caps from time to time just showing how windy it is outside. But these winds when the sun goes down will start to go down as well. 56 current temperature sustained winds or the consistent wind speed is 18 miles per hour out of the west. It's very dry outside. You may have uh, noticed that you may have had to get out the chapstick or put on some lotion just because it is so dry outside. And that's going to give this rain a tougher time uh, getting started. But we will start to see some showers moving in over the next couple days. Our high was 57. Our low was 34. And this is very typical type weather for this time of year. So this is other than the winds, a picture perfect setup for this time of year. Now the radar shows that we're still mainly clear. The couple of fair weather clouds have developed, but our clouds are going to start to thicken up late tonight. So we're going to start seeing those clouds move in. The showers are going to come in behind it. So our rain chances are going to actually start to lift up tomorrow afternoon, but any rain we get is going to be on the light side. You can see here on Futurecast, those clouds come in early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., mostly cloudy skies. Some showers try to materialize for the afternoon. Again, this is going to be light rain Our better chances for rain coming to play on Friday, a little wave early in the morning before sunrise and the next wave comes in for the evening commute. This will all be out of here by the time we get into Saturday, so back to dry conditions to start off the weekend. Temperature trend over the next several days is for those temps to really build up close to 80 degrees as we start off the new week, but those temperatures will start to fall off tonight. Those skies increase with cloud cover temperatures hold into the mid to upper 30s for overnight lows and we bounce back to the upper 50s for tomorrow again mostly cloudy skies through the day there's a chance we could see a couple showers trying to develop for the afternoon anything we see is going to be light down to the south we're going to get those temperatures a little closer to 60 so very similar to today with additional cloud cover and a chance for some light showers trying to develop temperatures off to the east in the mid to upper 50s again in the afternoon this is where some of those rain showers try to lift in here anything we see is going to be light sprinkles light and that'll be the deal up to the north as well with otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Now over the next several days our temperatures they're going to actually build up tomorrow the same as today Friday 63 degrees upper 60s on Saturday some spots even trying to touch that 70 degree mark then we get the upper 70s Sunday and Monday so very warm there there will be some chances of rain it looks like this is going to start to come in late Sunday and linger into Monday. I don't think Sunday is going to be a washout and any showers that come in here can be easily tracked with the KDK weather app. It's one of the coolest features on there an interactive radar. You get hourly forecast, daily forecast, and if there's ever, ever an alert, it goes right to your phone. You can get it by searching CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store or Google Play.